Sean and Stan over at Downforce Motorsports again. We are in our showroom here in South Carolina. And what we're going to go over with today is our 289 Cobra offerings that we get from Superformance. With the original Cobra, the slab side, and then also what it evolved into, which was the 289 FIA race car. So starting off with our slab side, the original Cobra. This is the car that Shelby brought over from Bristol and modified and turned into the Cobra. So this is also one of the cool features about the slab side. It is the only cover we offer that actually has a grill in the front here. It features the full bumper kits front and back, which you'll find on the slab side or the 427 Roadster. Those are the only two cars that we do the full bumper kits on front and rear. You can opt into them for an SC car. They're not period correct, but every once in a while we do find a customer that will opt into putting the bumper kits on the cars. So the other thing you're gonna find with our slab side car, this is the original setup. So the original is called slab sides. From your angle you're out there, you can really see how flat these cars are. And if you're familiar with the 427 Cobra, this is a completely different animal as far as the body styling goes. But you'll start to see some of that evolution when we talk about the FIA here in a little bit. So the other thing you're gonna notice, no hood scoop, no roll bars on these cars. We do have some customers that will opt into the FIA style roll bar, but generally we find they keep the car clean. They want a clean, elegant, more of a gentleman style look with these cars. So no roll bar, no hood scoops. And this is the only vehicle that we feature as far as our Cobra lineup goes with the Dayton wire wheel setup. So cars can come in any myriad of colors that you, we do any of our Superformance vehicles with. This one is finished in a very traditional setup. Original Dayton wire wheels again, white wall tires, Wimbledon white on the exterior, and then from there we move into a red finished interior. The interior options on all of our cars from Superformance when it comes to Cobras, black is standard, red and gray are an option along with Amarada tan. So there's a couple different things you can do with the interiors. All of those options are available on the slab side. So when we talk about slab sides, you talk about the originality, the painted vent grills on the side here, and then on the interior, all the original style gauges. And the gas cap is in the center. And again, no roll bar traditionally on the slab side Cobra. So this car registers or comes with an MSO that says it's a 1962. And then from there, when Shelby started racing these cars, he did race them in the slab side version, but he started to recognize he needed a little bit more. And just like any other car, when it gets racing, there's the street version and then there's a race version. So that's when you end up here with the FIA car. And you can start to see some of the 427 styling that everybody's used to and accustomed to in the FIA. Some of the things you'll notice right off the bat, if you're looking at the front end of both of these cars, no grill on this cars. Quick jacks instead of the full bumper kits. You have an oil cooler down here on the bottom. And then you start to see the hood scoops. This is where the 427 Cobra start to get some of its influence too because I took this car and evolved it into the 427. You're going to see fender flares for wider tires on the front. This is allowed for more traction, a better grip on the track. FIA style roll bar which goes down into the interior. And then the dashboard on the FIA car is extremely unique. Mm -hmm. um, this car has a neat story behind it. The speedometer is actually out in front of the passenger on the car. As the story goes, when Shelby went to homologate these cars, the FIA looked at it and said, well, it's supposed to be a street car, it's supposed to have a speedometer. He said, what do you need a speedometer for in a race car? So just to say it was in there, he put it over on the passenger side, kind of as a stick to them. It's in there, but we're still not gonna use it. Other things you'll find with the FIA car, you start to see a lot of the 427 styling come into the rear here. So the fenders back here get far more curvy. The rear end starts to get some styling and designs to it when you started to, as I call it, Shelby eyes or American eyes, the original Bristol. Um, the gas cap was moved over from the center, which is where it is on the slab side. It's moved over to the side, which made it easier to fuel during pit stops. And then it also has a wind deflector or splash guard. So when they were going down the road, that would help keep the cap from fluttering at high speeds. And then when they were refilling it, it also keep gas from coming in the center section. And then back here is probably one of the most distinctive styling features we find on any of our Cobras. If you saw the movie Ford versus Ferrari and you saw Christian Bale's character, Ken Miles, hammering away at the rear end of the trunk, trying to make clearance for the suitcase. That's somewhat of a true story. And you're gonna see dimples on the back of our FIA car to fit that suitcase. Cause you did have to have a certain amount of luggage space. The original trunk didn't do it. So they did dimple the rear end. Um, from there, an FIA car started to use the original 
mag style wheels, which is what we still have on this car. So the original FIA style wheels in a true knockoff setup. Exhaust system on the FIA car is also unique to it, unlike any other Cobras, where the Roadster and the slab side, they had exhaust exiting out the rear. The 427 has the very traditional and a common side pipe. This uses kind of a hybrid. So the exhaust runs underneath the car, but then the pipes pop out right in front of the rear tire. It's also kind of a nice compromise when you find people that love the styling of the 427, but they don't want to worry about burning their legs on the side pipe. We find that they get into the FIA. The another thing that you find is there are a lot of replicas out there, but again, these are the only ones that are officially licensed by Shelby and there are very, very few 289 replicas out there. These cars feature, both of these cars feature the original tubular style chassis, a front transverse leaf spring, independent rear suspension, wheel wood disc brakes, and then Coney coil over shocks at all four corners. So it gives it a nice quality high ride. You still get a lot of the original features that came with these cars from the 60s, and this is a great setup. So if you're looking for something unique, looking for something different, than your typical 427 Cobras, then either one of our 289 offerings from Superformance is a great option for you to look in, whether you're looking for more of what we call the Gentleman's Cruiser or the race version, the FIA. You can't go wrong with the 289 Cobra. So if you want any more information on these cars, go to our website, downforcemotorsports.com. You can also call us at 803-900-0500. And don't forget, you're always welcome to call us and make an appointment and come see us here in our South Carolina showroom or our showroom in Wisconsin.